Gina, thank you. Now to a very disturbing trend regarding kids and drug use. Kids using phone emojis to discreetly get drugs delivered right to their doorstep. The messages intentionally are not easy to decipher. Uh, for So Angie is joining us live now uh, with how to crack the code. This is going to just be shocking to so many adults. It really is. You know, kids are using a language they are fluent in, and that is emojis. The DEA has a sheet full of the tiny pictures and what they stand for in the drug world. For example, the maple leaf, a universal sign just for drugs overall. A brown heart or dragon means heroin. A crystal ball or blue heart stands for meth. Now this is just a portion of the list compiled from DEA investigations. It's used in texts, in social media videos, in private messages, all of that. Using code to reference drugs is nothing new, but the ease of getting drugs is. Well, today the kids can make contact with the drug dealer, they can have the drugs delivered and paid for and dropped off and right to their house without them even knowing who dropped it off. And so if our parents aren't involved, if our parents don't understand how it's done, we're going to have more kids dying. Now, Brock Bevel and Max Hall, who you just heard from there, run a drug counseling center in Mesa. Both are recovering addicts. Bevel, a former Mesa police officer, and Hall, a former Cardinals quarterback. So what do you do? Well, you have to keep an eye on their conversations, look for what seems to be nonsensical emojis, and, of course, talk to them about how these deals can be deadly. Wow. Yeah, and parents have to know what's going on with their kids. They really do. Just check their phones. Yeah, yeah. you know, you have that and right. access, all of that. Yeah. Yep. All right, Angie, thank you. Mm -hmm.